Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. If he ain't put no loser out of artists, loser out of legends. Wow, wow. Hey, man. Listen, man. Hey, since I posted this thing earlier, it's going crazy. Um, Fred O'Banks took to uh, respond to Hurricane Chris. It was a couple of other people out of Louisiana that responded. Upset with Hurricane Chris for making this statement, man. And it's crazy because 50 Cent, he just come in and he responded as well. It's crazy. Uh, when you think about it, you don't know, man. Like, I knew 50 wasn't going to just sit back and not say nothing. 50 Cent said, Hurricane Flex. And then it laughing emoji. Boy, your, your shit is whack. The F you think. Fred O'Banks, uh, get no play in my ride, man. Your shit gets no play in my ride is what he said. But at any rate, it was real quick and real brief. He don't give him too much energy up front. Cause he really, you know, it's a, it's a, that's a really a win for uh, uh, my boy uh, Hurricane Chris. But Fred O'Banks took to uh, the um, internet to basically say, "Hey, man, look here, man, I was there. I'm not a legend." Cause he did mention Baton Rouge. You heard it in the first one um, where he he mentions those guys. So when he went live this morning early, he mentions those guys. So that basically gave Fred O'Bang a chance to come up and say some things. And there was other guys that came up from down there that was like, man, I was down there. It was a great opportunity and a great thing. I got to see people that I never would have seen before. This is what I'm talking about, man. You got to be very careful when you step out here and say some things because you just might never know who might, you know, basically step up and say they was there. Uh, some people were saying some of the guys he was mentioning uh, wasn't this or that, and then some of those guys were there, and all of them performed, one guy said. Also, it was another one that said, basically, what have you done for the city, Hurricane Chris? They was pretty hard on Hurricane Chris on this one. Like I said, I was just tripping because I'm like, man, that boy should have been there. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm like, I thought he was there. You know, I don't know who there, but I seen Bebe. I seen a lot of other people. Some people had shouted and said that uh, Bebe and him have issues. I don't know nothing about that, but I do know that Shreveport was on lock. Everybody was having a good time. This was a hell of an event from what I seen. I covered it. I, you know, I spoke on it a little bit, uh, you know, early on, man. But 50 not trying to hear it. And if you know 50, he going to go and come on with it. He not just going, you know, if, if, if Hurricane continues to, Hurricane Chris continues to push it, he going to push it too. That's how, that's how 50 work, you know. Uh, but, but like I said, this is a win for Hurricane Chris because at the end of the day, um, you know, it puts – light on this whole you know it's time for a music track or something but even with that even being said it's also something to where he basically should you know i mean do some things down in shreveport you know uh, do a video down there go down there and stand your ground down there where you're from man you know um i had a lot of calls to come in about that you know far as once I dropped that, I didn't even know it was even that big of a deal until when I dropped it and the energy that Hurricane Chris came with is like crazy. Even the Kevin Gates stuff starts to pop up and people start to ask questions about Hurricane Chris and his his basically who he is as far as an artist and all kind of stuff. Once you go out there and you start tackling these different subjects and you, you put your gloves on, these guys going to come for you. You know what I mean? Fred O'Bank, definitely a, a, a legend in his own way down there in BR. And a lot, of, a lot of other people, you know, they say another one that they said, Master P. They said Master P was there. Uh, I was talking about uh, Bebe and Bubba Doug. But I didn't even think about Mouse P. He was there playing a celebrity ball game because I had talked to my boy. I actually talked to Silk the Shock. So I knew P was going to be there. I just slipped my mind. But there were some Louisiana people that was there. It just, Hurricane Chris felt like it wasn't done in a way to where it appropriated things to give Shreveport a look for the local artists first. That's what he said. And I know, you know, 50, <clears throat> 50 don't even think about this. I don't think he even was thinking that deep in the detail on it. Um, I think he was just giving the city a look, happy to be a part of something, growing that city down there. And again, Hurricane Chris is not trying to hear that. He basically look at it as a, a black eye on what they are and what they represent. He felt like, okay, this man that gave a half a million, you gave a half a million dollars to uh, 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 the law enforcement. I don't know how much, what, is that how much security it took? It's crazy to me that they would amp up security like that 
for this event, but then I understand they have to, but I didn't know it was a half a million dollar type deal. I don't know where Chris, Hurricane Chris got that number from, but that's a crazy number. And at the end of the day, um, there is a lot of issues with law enforcement and just that whole parallel with uh, just people, you know, basically going through it. But everybody, man, listen, everybody have, have to, we all have to be accountable for who we are and what we do. Um, you gotta think about it, man, 50 Cent, he coming in, you know, this dude straight out of New York, but he was he was hanging out, I believe, in Houston a little bit, and um, you know, basically he he planted his flag down in Shreveport to do something down there with the city. And and Hurricane Chris, I didn't talk about, I don't think earlier about how cheap the land is. I might have spoke on it, but you know, the, the land is a good price. You know, uh, you can get a good deal for a house. You can get a good deal down here for land. You can get a good deal and. I mean, it's just sitting there. So we need to be building on it anyway. We can't take this land with us, man. So 50 is, like I say, incredible businessman. Got with Tyler Perry early on. They trying to figure it out. Hurricane Chris, like I said, man, if you can get in line, man, and do something with 50, man, I don't think it's, you know, something that can't be repaired. But you've seen Rick Ross and some more people go for years going with 50. So you don't want to have that counter report with him. You've seen him go for years with a lot of people. Murder Inc., all these different people. For years, you know, even the game, like, for years, once you, you do something with him, you got to understand his, he's not, you know, the only one that I've really seen and, and, and that he kind of even respect a little bit after everything said and done, maybe Mayweather, but... Floyd Mayweather Jr. But 50 Eula is hard to, you know, get back on his good side once you get on his bad side, man. So you got to think about that. You don't want to be on on um, 50's bad side. And, and y'all guys are men that look like each other. So we should be able to, how Rodney King said, can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? Because I really, really want to see, you know, uh, that whole area being that I'm, like I said, I be in, the, in and out of that area a lot. I want to see everybody, you know, shine. It's, it's, it's enough money down there. It's enough money in them casinos. It's a, it's a damn good spot to do something in. It don't matter if it was 50, it was Tyler Perry. It could have been anybody. It could have been you, Hurricane Chris. That's a good area to build something up in. And, I mean, there are so many empty buildings downtown. There, I've looked at real estate down there. I was going to put something down there at one time, probably about nine years ago when they, uh, at the river, I think it was a, a boardwalk, I was gonna put something at. Then I changed my mind, but if I'd have got in then, it probably would have been too early. Now is the time to go down there, uh, Hurricane Chris, and get you something and establish it down there and get you something going. That way you can pretty much uh, name your price when 50 get to come in there with them cameras. And you let him in and you be like, man, I'm gonna let you in, but it's gonna cost you a fee. Uh, you know, and that fee, you know what I'm saying, going to basically get you in. You can put them cameras in here, set that right there, and then I'll get on there with you and get my acting on, you know. But, yeah, this is I own this part. So that's that's the way that got to go, man. But 50 is definitely clapping back. He responds to uh, Hurricane Chris. I know he knew he was waiting on this response because he know how 50 is. Fred O'Bangs responded. A lot of the Louisiana people said what they said. Hurricane Chris, will he speak back? Will he say something back again? Or is he going to hold back and let it go? I don't know, man. Make sure you guys get in the comments. Uh, is 50 Cent wrong for what he did? Responding to Hurricane Chris? What about Fred O'Bangs? Is he wrong for saying what he said? Is Hurricane Chris coming about this the wrong way? Who's right, who's wrong in this situation, man? All I'm saying is, man, we all got to build together, man. We want this thing to work, man. Shout out to 50. Shout out to Fred O'Bang. Shout out to Hurricane Chris, man. Let's get it together, brother. We all look alike. Boss Talk 101, what a bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, reason you see me.